not. We can't wash so, men off. So here, period. No, I need you to hear me. We cannot wash men off. Mm -hmm. There will always be a remnant of the men that we've been with inside of our bodies for life. So if you are just filled with all of these different people, you know how many different soul ties, demon spirits you got in your body? But so do men though. No, men can wash us off. No. No. What do you mean? No. I get what you're saying. I understand what you're saying because yes. they, we are incubators and they are the whatever. Penetrators. That's yeah. what they are. Yeah. It's a sport, especially for certain types of men. And for us to sit here and act like we could be just like men as wild. The truth has been spoken. She's absolutely correct. 63% of females between 37 and 59 years old tested positive for male microhumorism in their brains. What that means is they have male DNA in their brains. And now the question becomes, of course, how does male DNA get into female brains? Well, the first reason is an unknown abortion. Another possibility is a vanished male twin or an older brother transferred by the maternal circulation you can hear it already. All of those reasons are a 0.00000 percentage outcome. But one of the reasons is sexual intercourse. And this is what studies suggest nowadays, that when women have sexual intercourse with random males and they ejaculate into them, then they absorb their DNA. And that DNA is stored in their brains for life and can impact even the future children. Yes, you heard that right. Even if she chooses to settle down, get a husband, and make a kid with him, that kid can be influenced by the male DNA found in that woman's brain. Yeah, and that doesn't happen to us men. We don't store female DNA in our brains after having sex with a woman, and therefore, we are not the same.